You know what's important that you just said that I want to go into is state change and oh, your man. state. Mm. Um, obviously, again, shout out Tony Robbins. He's fucking <laughs> huge on that, right? He's huge yeah. on that. And and if you have any of you that have been to St Tony Robbins event, um, you know he gets you to dance and he gets you to jump and he gets you to do all this crazy shit, which could look weird as fuck at first. Yeah. When you're first attending, it's like, what is this shit about? Like, this totally. is exactly how I felt when I first went in. And my first event was virtual. I'm like, where the fuck am I right now? Yeah, you know? me too. <laughs> right? I was fucking rattling the fucking apartment and bu bu bugging the neighbors downstairs, jumping yeah, up and like, down. Remember when we crazy. went to uh, to Russell's event and they were doing it? It was kind of like a weird version of it. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Like looking at each other like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> but then when you go to a Tony event, it's like just a different vibe. You know, it's just very genuine. And there is a science behind it. This is why yeah. he does it, mm. you know? I remember um, a couple of weeks ago, I had just came out of a Tony event and he does these incantations where he gets you in state and then he gets you to shout out these things and then they get into your body. And then what it does, it, it like it, um, it fires neurons in your brain that it associates these words and the way you say them with a certain state, a certain emotion, a certain like way that you feel. Mm. And so now I do them every morning. I have three different incantations. One is the gladiator one that we did together in Business Mastery a couple yeah. months ago. And so I have three different inc uh, incantations that I do that I've learned from him that do different things for me. And I do them every single morning. And I remember the first time I did them, I went down to literally I did them and I went to the gym. And I remember my trainer was like, you must have gotten some really good sleep last night. I'm like, why? It's like, I don't know, bro. There's something fucking weird about you. I'm like, how weird? It's like, you're just like very like, there's so much energy coming out of you. You're like so into the fucking workout. I'm like, huh, that's interesting. Yeah. You know? And Tony talks a lot about how the state that you're in determines the outcome and determines the kind of decisions that you make. Mm. Because the one thing that we like when your back's against the wall or when you're afraid or when you are anxious or when you are, you know, uh, 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 frustrated or whatever, whatever decision you make from that state usually mm. is the wrong decision. Yeah. And this is why it's important for you to change your state, because what that does, like, I'm pretty sure when you are fucking jacked up. Decisions that you're going to make from there, the clarity that you're going to have is completely different from when you're like sitting like this and you're oh, scared yeah. and you're fucking like, you know, you're all shriveled up. Yeah, It's a different mentality. It's a different state. The decisions you're going to make are completely different. Can you t talk a little bit more about that? Dude, fuck yeah. Well, <laughs> making decisions from a peak state, um, that's something that is absolutely game changing. You know, um, an example of this for me, this is something that happens to me almost every day now because I'm aware of it and I, I purposely kind of put myself there. So in the morning when I'm writing out my day, again, chunking down my goals and chunking down my day, I write out what are the three big things I need, like my, my outcomes for today. It can be a percentage of it, but like what are the outcomes that I need to get done today? And I write them down. And I'm like, okay, well, why are those important? And the why gets me in state. Like, I feel excited. You know, I'm like, oh, this is why. That's why. Like, I need to do this. Fuck yeah, I'm going to do it because of that. Yes, yes, feel good, feel good, feel good. Then I kind of like jump around a little bit. I'm usually kind of out um, back home. I'm on my deck, right? There's like a nice view and I'm kind of like jiving around, maybe have a cigar, a cup of coffee. And then I ask myself, well, how, how, how? And I, I just, it, things just start like flowing into you. Whereas if I just went and woke up and I was like, oh, how am I going to do that thing today? It wouldn't be there. But you get all pumped up and jacked up and all of a sudden it's like, you just start having ideas. And those are coming from a peak state. Another example is when I go to the gym, obviously you're in a super high vibe state after the gym, right? You just lifted a ton of weights, your body's under stress. Maybe you're on the treadmill or you're on the bike or you're doing some shit where you're just fucking sweating your ass off. You're at like 150 BPM for two hours. Your body is peaking, right? I go in the change room, put on my bathing suit and I go out and I go directly into the cold shower and the sauna, right? At the gym. Every single day, every single day, I'm laying in that sauna and I have to turn on my voice note on my phone, on my watch. 
I have like 500 voice notes here of myself having the most epiphany moments all about, you know, things that I can do for my family, ways I can improve my lifestyle, things I can do to help the BJKU team, ideas for our students, ways to improve the community, just things that are making my life, your life, everyone around me life better, just start fucking coming to me randomly. Mm.